Happy New Year everyone! I'm Janice Paliarca and this is my first vlog for this year 2021. And I hope all of you guys are safe and always healthy. Ayan, dahil meron akong video upload last year na nag-joint ako as a merchant or nag-brand partner ako sa isang concept store. To give you an update guys, nag-close na yung pwesto ko doon. Bali, nag-pull out items ako doon dahil sa naging sitwasyon natin na pandemic. Bumaba yung walk-in count ng tao sa malls, talo sa rental, walang benta. Kaya nag-online selling up na lang ako sa Shopee. So, magandang opportunity to kung may mga paninda kayo or items kayo, magandang ipasok ninyo ito sa mga selling online app, gaya ng Shopee. So, for today's video, isi-share ko sa inyo kung paano gumawa ng account sa Shopee, kung paano ka makakapag-sign up, kung paano ka rin makakapag-upload ng iyong items or products sa Shopee. Kahit hindi mo pahawak ang items mo, brand new pa yan or pre-love, is pwedeng pwede ka mong ipasok yan sa Shopee. Of course, following the rules and guidelines ng Shopee. And kung magkakabenta ka, paano ka rin makakapag-withdraw dito. So, if you wanna know how, stay tuned and keep on watching! First, download Shopee app from Google Play Store or any app store. From your Shopee app, click the Me page and click the Sign Up option. Click Continue with Facebook. Put your username and your email account. And kung tapos na tayo sa username and email account, click na natin itong sign up button. And ganyan lang siya kabilis. Dan na tayo sa signing up of account as a seller. Here we can change our profile picture according to our logo shop. Click lang natin itong profile picture. So ito yung sa akin, ano siya. Tapos, set tayo ng Shopee Shop name natin. Tapos, click natin itong set now. Then, click save button. Okay na. Check natin itong button. So, ito na yung logo natin. Then, click na tayo sa start selling. Pwede na tayo mag-upload ng products natin. Continue lang natin to guys. Add photo, then photo library. Piliin lang natin yung items na i-upload natin. Tick the box, then check. Let's just fill up all the information needed. Dito sa stocks and price, iiwan muna natin ito. Uunahin natin ang pag-set ng variations. Then once done tayo sa variation, automatic magkakaroon na ng pricing and stock count itong page dito.
Let's click this product description box para lumabas yung item picture natin. Then, hanapin ulit natin siya. So, ito yun. Then, for, don't forget to tick all the boxes para makapag-set tayo ng stocks and pricing. Once done, click the save button. Under condition, pili lang tayo kung new or used na yung items natin. Then dito sa pre-order, dahil hindi ko pa hawak yung mga bed sheets, wala akong available on hand, mag-isa-set ko to ng pre-order. Then dito sa days to ship, tayo nang bahala kung kailan natin possible na may i-book ito sa ating courier. In my case, 15 days ko to isi-set. Let's go to shipping fee. Fill up natin all the information needed dito, pero usually wait lang naman ang pinifill up ko dito. After that, pili tayo kung anong courier ang preferred natin, then click the button save. Once complete na information, pwede na tayo mag-publish. Let's upload another items. Then, kuha tayo ng picture items natin sa photo library. Same procedure. And complete all the information needed.
Always visit your product page every 4 hours. Click this option, then click boost. This is to get more views for your products and you can boost up to 5 products only. To know more about policies of Shopee, go to your account settings and let's just read, read, read all Shopee policies. Dito sa my shipping page, you need to set your preferred courier na inassign ni Shopee. So, ikaw mismo ang pipili kung anong preferred courier services ang gusto mo. Ang maganda dito, you don't need to go outside para dumaan pa sa mga courier services and i-deliver yung mga items sa buyer mo. Hindi na. Si Shopee Courier na mismo ang pupunta sa location mo para pick up in ang parcel mo or yung mga items for delivery sa buyer mo. To withdraw, again, let's go sa My Shop page. Then, Seller Balance, click natin ito. So, I have 1,745 withdrawal. So, click natin itong withdrawal. And, just enter the amount we want to withdraw. Then, tap Confirm. For security purposes, tap lang natin yung wallet pin natin. Then, click natin to. And, we can visit our transaction history. So, okay na siya. Nakapag-withdraw na tayo. Let's go again sa seller balance to see Ayan, zero balance na yung ating seller balance. Okay, so, clear na yung amount dito. Every time na may withdrawin tayo, may amount dito sa seller balance. Okay, so ganyan lang siya kabilis. Of course, hindi tayo makakapag-withdraw kung wala tayong bank account. So again, let's go sa My Shop page and mag-set tayo ng uh, ating bank account. So dito sa settings, click natin to. Then click bank account. So, fill up lang natin all the information needed. Continue. Then, once uh, Shopee verified our bank account, lalabas na tong logo. This one na may delivery truck is, ibig sabihin, meron tayong ordered items. So, yun lang guys. Happy selling! magandang ipasok ninyo ito sa mga online selling app. So, ayan na guys. Sana nakapag-share kami sa inyo. And, kung if you're new to my channel, please, please, please subscribe. Click the bell button para lagi kayo updated sa mga new uploads namin. And, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like. So, see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye!